Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again. And today we've got a bit of yellow ochre, some lizard crimson. Gonna make an orange and some some yellow. This is a lemon yellow, but with the uh, yellow ochre and the crimson, you can create a nice orange. So I use this. For the sky, kind of a nice, nice warm sky for this one. Some of the red, why not? I'm just using some black card. It's actually my sketchbook that I'm using. Black sketchbook. Some different colours in this sky. Some yellows, reds, oranges. To about there for the reds. For now, anyway. It's more like that. And then um, a little bit of the red breaking this. I'm just using simple brush strokes that go across. I'll do plop that into some water. And I kind of want a, a, a bluey grey. So I'll go straight in the blue, straight into the red. A little bit of white. And we'll use this cooler colour. Some of the bluey grey. I don't know if you saw that. some of this colour throw more blue and white in it and some of that here and there wash my brush and then I can get a bit more of the blue and red and make a darker colour some lavender colour through amongst this just to bring this together Looking good.
little bit more I'm gonna get a little bit more of the blue a little bit more of the blue and white sort of want a sort of connect there it's really good to have these uh, calls the cool colors of the blue and white in amongst it so you get the warm and the cool and then you, you can change the angles as well you don't have to always have it straight across you can have angles in, in amongst the paint but you get like now cool and warm it's starting to look quite nice it's all about the sky really this painting <laughs> the sky is going to really stand out hopefully anyway <laughs> if all goes wrong it won't but hopefully it all works get a little bit of yellow and red a bit more of the yellow and then the white gonna make a really light area I want my lightest bit along here I can get some red just put that in it as well That's looking nice, isn't it? It's looking quite nice now, quite bright. Just want to break that up a little bit there. Maybe there as well. Something like that. It's quite nice, isn't it? Nice and warm. So I want it to be nice and warm on purpose there, because I'm going to have it nice and cold below. So I've got a bit of a reference picture just for the uh, the bottom bit. It's just an old picture that I've taken. What I want is some like blue, blue and white, really cold colour with the snow that's down here. I want plenty of blue in it though. I'm going to do this bit while the other bit's drying. Nice and cold. See, I used to always think when the uh, if the sun's like this, it should affect the ground. But a lot of the time, from what I've seen, it doesn't. <laughs> the ground is cold and not really affected. Sometimes it is, but mostly 
ground tends to stay almost the same. Just gets dark. So I'm going to put trees along that edge. Just wanted to get my blue area in. Of course, we're doing a painting, and you can always change things, make things, uh, make things up. <laughs> so that was ultramarine blue and white. So now I'm going to get a bit of black, red and black. Make a really dark red. Something like that. with this brush. This brush is a really nice brush actually because it's kind of been overused <laughs> so I quite like it. It's a Cotman 668 but like I say it's been overused so it's become a, uh, a quite a good brush for doing stuff like this tree shapes and stuff. start getting used to old brushes it's funny because when you first start painting you're desperate for new brushes and then uh, after a while you start going oh I really want some old brushes <laughs> I'll get some new ones and wear them out quick and then I can do some more nice effects could bring this down here actually have it going along there a little bit of blue in it blue and white yeah that comes out now that looks quite good so I want to have a tree just use my uh, line a brush some of this black and crimson so I'm keeping it warm <laughs> this tree because of all this warm color and then uh, it should come out looking pretty good rather than using just black just straight black I've got a nice color to it already There's another tree there. Put all these little branches in. I like painting trees, I really enjoy it. just so much fun they're so different and the branches go all over the place and they hold so many animals and 
insects. I mean, I like uh, celebrating trees in paintings. Now you could put in loads and loads and loads of branches if you wanted to. You can really keep them going branch after branch. <laughs> a bit there as well there's one here so you can see a load of uh, just paint that in actually Getting my old brush again. There's a load of ivy growing down here. Something like that. And then what I might do, even though there isn't really any leaves or anything on the trees, I'm going to just fake some <laughs> using this brush. Just to have a few. Maybe it's a, uh, a cold autumn. All the leaves haven't fallen off yet. Getting a little bit of blue in my black there, just to cool this area down. Just a little bit of the blue and black, black and blue, and we can put in a bush that's growing here. Sort of grows along there. A few bits grow in here and there. Few little bits and pieces growing in there. Okay. Now I might get some of this blue and 
a little bit of white in it. Putting a few uh, detail in this. things dark bits little light bits there's all sorts in there so you can't see it very well just while it's drying a few marks in amongst this I'm doing this really loose actually That area that should be snow going this way. A little more blue though. Lost my blue. <laughs> Let's get it back. That's a bit better. Get some of that black back in there. Some bits that are growing out of the out of that, and then what I might do, <laughs> I'm gonna fake some light. I was talking about faking light because it's your painting, and you can really do what you like. You can fake a little bit of light. Maybe there's a bit of warm colour in it's hitting some of this path here.
and it's made this path come out there. Maybe. <laughs> Could have done. Maybe it's hit a little bit of this grass as well. There's a little bit of light there. And it's just lighting up the path, the way to go. <coughs> of course, that's totally made up. <laughs> but it's uh, just a bit of fun. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you don't like having that path, you can always paint it out. You don't have to have it in. You could have it all blue and not be uh, creative. <laughs> <clears throat> but anyway, that's a nice bit of a fun painting. I'm only an hour in about the path, to be honest. I could like paint some of it out and just have like areas of it. There's just hints of colour. very small hints. Maybe I'll paint it all out and see how it looks again. Okay, that's without the path. That looks quite good as well. So it's up to you. <laughs> Experiment. Experiment. Make you make your own little ideas. Maybe oh, here's another one. What if there's someone walking there? have like an indication of a bit of bluey colour on his shoulders. Generally quite dark though, I mean you could always have a shadow of him. Not like that, or you could do, or you could paint him out as well. <laughs> it's cool though, isn't it? How you can create something and change it, and then make a decision what you really want. Probably all right, just the way it is. So anyway, <laughs> thanks very much for watching this one, and I'll see you at another one. Cheers, bye.